Greetings, loved ones. Today, we're going to talk about violence and pregnancy. These messages are really important, so please, to help to get them out, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single one. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit that like button. And please, please share these messages with everyone you know, because you never know, just by doing so, you could save a life. Suffering domestic violence while pregnant is double the danger and twice the threat. Pregnancy, pregnant and recently pregnant women are more likely to become victims of homicide than any other cause of death. Let's look at some stats and some information about abuse while a woman is pregnant. Statistics. A significant proportion of all female homicide victims are killed by their intimate partners. Domestic violence during pregnancy puts your life and the life of your baby at risk. Domestic violence is the number one cause of injury to women. Abusive partners, this is key, do not stop the violence after the baby is born. And abusive partners do not become good fathers after the baby is born. Mia, yeah, look. Domestic violence can happen to anyone, women of all ages, races, religions, educational backgrounds, income levels, and in every part of the world. You are not alone, and it's not your fault. If you are a victim of domestic violence and are pregnant, you and your baby are at a high risk of injury or murder. No matter what form of domestic violence your abusive partner has chosen to use against you, he is affecting the emotional and the physical welfare of yourself and your baby. It's also important to note that after the baby is born, your abusive partner is not going to stop abusing you or your baby. Abusive partners do not magically become good fathers after the baby is born. In fact, domestic violence is the number one predictor, predictor of child abuse. So let's look at some physical effects of violence during pregnancy. And this is from the American Medical Association. Insufficient weight gain, vaginal, cervical, and kidney infections, vaginal bleeding, abdominal trauma and hemorrhage, increase of chronic illness, complications during labor, delayed prenatal care, miscarriage. This one I've seen a lot of miscarriages where he's kicked her in the stomach and the baby has died. Low birth weight, ruptured membranes, separation of the placenta when he's throwing her around the room and kicking her and hitting her with things, uterine infection, fetal bruising, fractures, and blood clots. The baby could be damaged inside if it survives. Some other risks, more specifically to the mom, is stress, depression, alcohol and drug abuse, physical injuries, suicide, and yes, murder. You and your baby are at risk of emotional and physical harm. I need to repeat this. After the baby is born, your abusive partner is not going to stop abusing you or your baby. Abusive partners do not magically become good fathers after the baby is born. In fact, domestic violence is the number one predictor of child abuse. If you are a victim of domestic violence and are pregnant, you and your baby are at high risk of injury or murder if you suffer domestic violence. No matter what form of domestic violence your abusive partner has chosen to use against you, he's affecting the emotional and physical welfare of yourself and your baby. So if you are a victim of violence and you are pregnant, know this. You are valued. You are loved. You are intelligent. You are beautiful. Your baby is valued. And God does not want you or your baby to suffer violence. He wants you both to live free from violence in peace and tranquility. There is a way out. Abuse is not love and it's not going to change. If you are a victim of violence and or you find yourself in dangerous situation, call 911 for help, but also reach out to somebody. Keep reaching out until somebody comes alongside you. For those who know a pregnant woman is being abused by her partner, please speak up do something share this information with her you could be the person who saves a life you are called we are all called to be champions for justice those who suffer violence need to know that those who love them and those who don't even know them will step out and reach out to them to give them the courage and the help that they need to leave before it is too late the question is not if you will encounter a victim of violence the question before god 
is what will you do when you do encounter them? This series is dedicated in honor of Gabby Petito, a bright young woman whom the world has lost because of gender violence. It's also dedicated to every woman and young girl and child who suffers violence and or is missing. To get these messages out is really important. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit the like button and please share these messages with everyone you know. You never know. Just by doing so, you could save a life. The only purpose of these messages is to get the information out there so that someone who is suffering abuse can recognize they are and find a way to get out. And also for someone who knows somebody or encounters somebody who is a victim of abuse to know how to intervene and save a life. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about the cycles of violence. So until then, God bless you.